human. Hi, my name is Robert. What I'm going to show you is very real. I'm a very honest, down-to-earth person who happened to stumble upon an image that can be reversed. Reverse as I'm taking an image that NASA has photoshopped and bringing it back to some of its originality. I know when you hear the word Photoshop and photos and when it concerns the manipulation, you wonder if it's real or not. I understand it's good to be skeptic, and I hope you're all skeptics in your own way. You know, it took me two or three weeks to, you know, to try to figure out how to present this. And uh, then I thought, well, you know, I got five or six hundred images, and then I feel good about it. I mean, I got a lot of ones that are identical and so and so on, so I'm going ahead and going with it, you know. The reason why I'm doing this is because, hey man, we need to be told. Maybe our children don't need to be told until they can understand life a bit better, but I'm tired of being lied to, and I hope you are. And I also hope this video can open up some of the closed minds that need a jump start. Um, what I need to do first is show you how the images are brought forth. So the first few minutes might bore you. Bear with me. Uh, I'm trying to make this as short as possible. I have a short attention span, too. Uh, I'm not a professional Photoshopper by any means. You'll see that. When you view them, please don't skip the few first few minutes, as it's very important to see how the images are brought forth. You know, if you know if you have Photoshop and you know Photoshop, um, go to the link below the video here on YouTube and download the image and do it yourself if you disbelieve me. It's all there. It keeps coming back time and time again, and I just have so many things to show you guys. Um, if there is an honest professional Photoshopper out there that views this and takes initiative to map the whole back of the moon, man, that would just be great because it really, really needs to be done. Well, okay, uh, on to it. Okay, this is original image that was taken off the internet. Uh, the link is on the right-hand side, plus it'll be under the video on YouTube. This is a far side of the moon, photographed during NASA's Apollo 8 mission, December 1968. Uh, up here, you'll notice the curvature of the moon. Well, that is not the curvature of the moon. I will let you know in a minute what it is. It's just it really blow you away. I'm going to show you first anomalies, the first few of the anomalies I noticed that made me do some more research on this photo. This worm thing up here, and this green thing right here, and then right below, um, we have this also worm-looking thing that's standing erect and it's curved over to the side, and. Let me go over to the far right here, and there's another one that is uh, standing erect and also curved. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in to this area right here, being that it's you know it's overexposed, it's overexposed for a reason. Plus, I know there's images there, you know, so I'll make this quick. So I'm going to go ahead and get the burn tool. If I had the right layer going there okay I'm going to get the burn tool I'm going to burn in right here this is a leg these are the eyes it's got a snout this is another leg like it's pranced one is behind one's forward like it's moving forward and move on back and I believe the tail lizard goes around like this they live in the Florida swamps I'm sure you might be able to tell what it is already it's a crocodile and there's another image up here I'm going to give you two here a little bit better. And this here stands on a tower. You know, we all know about the tower on the moon. You know, well, I'm going to tell you right now, the back of the moon is a porcupine. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and use the sharpness tool. Um, these are the eyes. And just give a little sharpness. You see how it's coming in, coming in. You know, you use this on different colors, different inversions. Um, you know, just keep going back and forth until you until I get the right thing. Some greens and browns and so and so on. Um, my computer catch up with me. Well, I'm going to go ahead and stop right there uh, and show you exactly what is going on. Okay, the beaked image right is right here. We can see the eyes. Um, this is you're going to see this at the very end of the video. This is very important. When you see this one here, but this is my favorite coming up is the croc. This here is that image right there. You notice how it's pranced forward, one's behind, and the other leg, and you got the tail that runs around the to the right, and as a matter of fact, this is the tail right here on the beaked image, you know, on the back right there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show it to you big. Let's get that alligator in. Okay, we'll close this off. Now, 
this thing is just amazing. I mean, look at that. A horned crocodile. Um, this thing is probably five miles long. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, I can't find that crater on Google Moon. So, anyways, mm -hmm. anyways, um, look at the eyes. I mean, look at the teeth, and look at even got the slime on on the snout. You know, I guess the aliens are pretty intricate, huh? I'm gonna go ahead and bring up um, something here that's really important about this image. This is the only image I'm gonna do this to, but I found some information about. Uh, ancient human ancestors faced fearsome horned crocodile. This is new found from 2007, 1.84 million years old. Um, it says it had prominent, prominent triangular horns. Well, there we go. It's prominent triangular horns, and it also has a robust uh, head. Well, it's really pretty robust, and you be able, mostly see from the projections behind the eye. Well, that's all good right there. And there's a a couple of living species, the Cuban and Siamese, and I checked them out. They're not even close, you know. And they also found a partial, partial skull. Um, human species, you know, originated in Africa. Our DNA originated in Africa. So, anyways, this is really pretty neat. It really is. Let me go ahead and get this out of the way. And, you know, take a look at this image there. See right over here, you see a skull sticking out. Well, they're everywhere. I mean, this is where they live. I mean, let me tell you, you're going to, you know, you're saying I'm crazy. Wait till you see what's going on. It is really, really a, a trip. Okay, let's go back to the image here. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these two. And I'll show you one other thing down at the bottom here that made me really want to see what was going on with this image. Um, come in right here. Okay, this right here, you know, the Statue of Liberty stands on a star uh, pedestal, then it has another little pedestal, then of course we've got the you know, the Queen Liberty. Um, well, this is pretty much the same thing. Um, this is the pedestal, and there's a man standing here. You can see his arm, and there's a lady standing next to him. This is a man alien and a lady alien. But look what we have here. Okay, I mean, there's the eyes, the long neck, the buttocks, and the knees. Well, he's sitting on the pedestal. And he has something in his lap. I mean, it looks like an alien to me. You know, I thought about this. I go, oh, my God. Okay, I'm on the moon. So Sitting in the park, I'm looking at an alien pedestal, and what's this alien doing? He's got a bong in his mouth. <laughs> you know, and then what's the matter with me? You know, but this is actually, he has a, some kind of air respirator. I'm going to show you this to you later. This to you later is really, really pretty neat. Okay, one last thing. I am going to uh, make this image really bright and so we can see what's going out there in space, uh, which is really not space. Here and come on, baby. Oop, wrong direction. Okay. And go on out. This is not space. I mean, look at this. You know, all these little scratch mark things. I thought thought they were scratch marks, you know, from an old photo or something like that. Um, I was wrong. I was totally wrong. Okay. What I want to show you real quick is this long line that comes, you can see it curved down, comes all the way down, all the way down and it comes up to here. Well, this must be a canyon. You know, if it's some kind of a tube or something, well, it is a tube, as a matter of fact. Look how it comes across. It comes across again, and then it comes over and down. That's going to really trip you out when I show you what's going on, man. I got some really good close photos of that, and it's just a, um, yeah, here we go. Okay, what we're seeing here again is, of course, the original image of the moon. I wanted to show you um, the cover-ups that I came across real quick. Um, I'll be brief about this real quick. Um, as I was going through my different colors and stuff, uh, I came up with this. Um, and now that would just really amaze me. This uh, lighter part is a, like a double inversion. You'll notice I don't play with this big crater a whole lot. It's pr pretty much a pain in the butt. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, that means I was getting real close, you know. And uh, along with that, I came across this here. You can tell how it's been blackened out. Um, all the way around the edges there, and that happens to be uh, this little black spot right here, and just one more, this one here, where you can tell it's all been cut out, and that is this area right here, that's this here blackened area. Okay, well enough of that one there, then as I was coming across this the full moon right here. I was looking at this and I noticed this is a backside of the moon by the way. I noticed 
you see these little lines right in this area? Well, check this out. Now, tell me, there's only one reason for this to happen, for them to shade, a you know, a lighter shade, a darker shade, and a darker shade. You know, they took a, a, the lighter shade out first, and the second shade, then the third shade to darken things up. There's only one reason to do that, is to keep things, keep us from seeing what is sticking out of the moon. Um, this is more proof that it's just nothing but a porcupine. All right. Um, well, I know you're kind of curious about the lines that are on, that are on this photo. You know, you might still think they're scratches, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and get in depth with it real quick um, about uh, what this really is. And you can tell, you know, by looking at this image here, that you know the one from the right stops to the one on the left. You know, and it's you know just like an intersection would. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in real close to these and show you what it really looks like. You know, uh, you know, first I thought it was artifacts, but you take a good look you can see how it twists and braids throughout it you know and it does it all the way up you know um, then it comes into this area here um, zoom out a little bit and, and both these got two triangles on top of them you know you notice this triangle here and that triangle there I don't understand what it is my son thinks uh, it's a couple of triangular uh, UFOs I, I don't know but uh, um, then we'll come on up here again and you can see how it it twists and braids and continues up. Um, and here's a really good example right here, how it twists and braids all the way up. You know, so the only thing I can think of um, is a t the tube, a tube, you know. And then it comes, uh, I call this the cul-de-sac, <laughs> you know, and it, it ends right here. This one here ends right here. This is down in the very bottom right hand of the photo. And this, you know, some of these anomalies come in colored. Like this one right up here kind of looks like an alien, and I'm not sure, you know. But um, uh, that's as far as I can get into it to find out what it was. I'm going to go ahead and head in and um, show you this one here. This is kind of an avatar. It, you know, it finds the edges of everything. You know, when you do a, an avatar of your photo, it would make a cartoon. It's kind of what it does. It just finds the outlines. Okay, so this is what here, this here is the outlines of everything that's on it. This is in the middle of the image, and you notice if you follow along here, this being the freeway, you know, well, look at this. It looks like a, an off ramp, you know. <laughs> you know, and they get the freeway, freeways going up where they connect right here. You can tell it stops, you know, um, and, and they're just everywhere on the photos. But the thing is, you do not see them when it's light. You only see them in the dark areas. Are they made of crystal? Uh, you know, I just, I really don't understand. Um, yeah, it's quite a mess out there, isn't it? Look at this. Okay, I am going to go ahead and start from what I told you before about coming down where it curves down, comes across the canyon, and comes on down. Now, you know, and then it kind of disappears on the white spots unless it goes under the ground. I'm not certain at this point um, because you don't see. You can see that they're everywhere, only in the dark areas. And then it continues on, continues on, and comes on down here, you know, to where it you can tell where it stops and, and it comes over you know and then also comes over this direction you know but uh, you can see right here it stops and we'll come over this direction where you can tell uh, you know this one that comes across here and this tube connection that comes down right down onto this statue um, you can tell where it stops you know it's obviously they're not scratch marks or anything like that they're not artifacts and whatever NASA wants to tell us, you know, is, which is total bull. And see this area right here, I was, I really was intrigued by. Um, back that one, right here. Um, you can tell it's alien gray skull. You know, I've done so much. You know, these, these images to me are really easy to see. Probably not for you. And you can tell there's this other eye is gone because there's a tube coming out of it, and the tube comes up and over and back over to this freeway right here. You know, a freeway. Um, <laughs> I guess I'll call it that. And let me scroll on over here. Um, as you can see, you know, another highway is coming up, up, up over this direction. Well, here we go, right here. We got another, like, off ramp type thing, you know, where it stops and then kind of curves, you know, a little off ramp right there, you know. And then it seems to me that this one here goes all the way back up, all the way up. And it connects to another freeway and it just keeps going up, 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 up. And now we got a mess, but it continues all the way up again, you know, like this one here. So, you know, those must be the long freeways. You know, I just I wish I knew them. Uh, 
scale of this so I could just map it say okay this is how many miles I'm not sure certain at this point you know but I wanted to uh, get that out of the way you know I mean what do you think you know this that's my assumption of what it is um, apparently maybe they they can breathe in these tubes you know and this makes it that uh, you know if the aliens could just appear somewhere and you know disappear and appear uh, they wouldn't have to have these tubes and connections and stuff like that you know they have you know they're like us you know they got a, a vehicle I don't know what they do in these tubes I don't know what, what how they travel in them or what what goes on you know but it's just really a trip you know um, this right here this alien uh, call it alien gray or reptilian you can tell that and there's two tubes that run that direction and it runs on out you know so anyways I wanted to get that uh, out of the way real quick and then I'm going ahead and start showing you some images okay let's imagine for a minute that uh, you're an alien and uh, you want to build a, a home in the T-Rex uh, subdivision you know but it's got to meet certain codes so you go on down to the building code office and, and you ask them okay what do I need to do and they said well you know if you're gonna build here you it's gonna have to look like a different image in every certain direction every north east south and west has got to look different you know even a dog in the backyard has to match you know even the tube coming out of it has to look like an image <laughs> you know it'd be pretty difficult to build uh, what I'm trying to get at is everything is a picture within a picture within a picture within a picture it's just amazing I'm gonna go ahead and scroll in here to this T-Rex Tunnus or whatever it is and you know you see the eye eye here and nose mouth well there's a lion okay and then right above it there's this creepy little thing you know that's sticking out you know and so you know as it goes around you know if you turn in each direction it's got to look like a different image you know and that's what's really weird it must take them years to plan this you know maybe it doesn't you know I'm not sure how they do it either you know so really weird okay Here's an image that you briefly seen in the beginning, um, but you didn't. You probably seen this area right here. Well, here's the one with it over his face, his hands over his face. But this one right here, um, you know, by taking a look at it, this is eyes, eyes, nose, and it's got his mouth open, teeth. You know, you can tell tell it's a gorilla. And maybe this right here might be his baby. I got in a little bit clear, but it's really hard to work with this um, particular area. Down below, uh, he's got his hand on another creature uh, that's sitting down, obviously. <coughs> um, but it's not a gorilla, so I, I don't know what's going on there. Let me go ahead and try to get the gorilla in a little bit better. You can see some other images that really didn't come in clear. But let's go to the gorilla. Okay, it's not clear here, uh, but I just wanted to show you before and after of kind of what's there. Um, now you can see his teeth and, and he's got his arm wrapped around oh, this lion like creature and a few others you know so you know what um, there's a little bit of love up there you know a little cuddling <laughs> you know it's really strange I cannot understand the moon at all I really can't okay I'm gonna go ahead and, and roll on you see now one. I'm gonna go ahead and go to Oh, the husband. I call this the husband and wife JPEG. <laughs> the reason why is, you know, on every uh, picture that I bring in, and I, I, I know if there's a, um, you can tell there's a male, a female, and a, and a boy. Well, the male being right here, and the female is always on the right hand side, and the and the child is always in the middle. You know, right here we got the eye, eye, nose, mouth. This would be the male. Eye, eye, nose, mouth. This being the female, and the female. If, you, if there's a female child, it seems to me that uh, nine times out of ten, the eye is connected. You know that they're sharing the same eye. So this here's obviously a, a girl child. This is really really close. This is almost uh, street view. Um, you know, one of the closest ones I got. That's why it's not so clear too. But it's pretty freaky. So you know, on the right hand side of God, right hand side. You know, uh, it's kind of strange how that works. Okay, let's move on to. I want to show you a couple of eyes real quick. Um, you know how intricate they are. You know it's really amazing. You know I got these in this good. You know and that's probably a cat eye. But this here eye um, is speaking with picture within a picture. Maybe a lady's eye. And, uh, but when you scroll into it, <laughs> look what we got here. We got the eye, eye, nose, mouth, and some horns uh, within a circle. You know so there's another picture within a picture. Okay, I'm going to move on to some cats, and 
we'll start out with well this here picture is probably not a cat um, I had to do nothing with this picture it came in just like it is you know usually I have to try to enhance them to bring them in uh, this being the eye eye the nose the mouth and the ears and you can tell it's on a tower that comes down okay and I'll bring an alien 53 <laughs> um, you know this in here is really blows my mind you know um, <laughs> I mean, it's real, real clear. I don't know if it's a cat. It looks like a cat, maybe, but the, the mouth isn't a cat. And 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 look at these. Looks like a reptilian alligator scale. I'm not sure. That's really a trip, huh? The way that one came in. Uh, we'll go to number 23 here. Here's another cat, a mountain lion, maybe a cougar. I'm not sure. These mean the eyes and come in too clear. I try not to mess with them. You know, if the eyes are bad, they're bad. You know. And uh, let's go to. Oh Lord, where was I here? Okay, here's another one um, with a baby cat next to it. Again, on the right hand side, you know. So there's a female here somewhere, but you know, I got so many images, I just kind of moved on. Um, and his claw, his paw is out, and he's. I think he's grabbing a fish at this point. I think that's which one, what it was. Um, and then cat two. This here is really neat. This is huge. This one here is really, really huge. About as big as the alligator is. Um, you know, three miles long. I'm not sure. But the, the, this came in really nice uh, and really neat, really neat. Okay, let's see. Okay, remember those two uh, images I showed you? They were NASA covers up, ups that were blacked out. This here is the small one, um, and I, you know, got it clean. To me, it looks like it's a human. You know, with you know the eyes, where the eyes are shaped, uh, just being the mouth, it's really hard to see. You know, and then of course it has the tunnel tube lines that are running, you know, to and fro in, in front of it, but I just wanted to show you that real quick. I did finally get that one in, but not very clear. Is it human? You decide. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and move on to this. Uh, it's probably some kind of prehistoric bird. That's what I'm thinking, you know. Uh, it came in really clear, the eyes and, and right here and everything else in it. Um, the only thing I could get in, I couldn't see any wings or anything, but I could see the front uh, feet, you know, and they were spread out, and they had like four or five uh, fingers, but it was like web-like. Um, and then, of course, this one up here is another tower with horns on it right above it. And there's just miscellaneous images in here, uh, like this one here and one right below. Uh, kind of odd ones. Um, but this here, I'm just going to call it pterodactyl. I know it's probably not, <laughs> you know, but I'm going to go ahead and work it with it and go to this here, which is the grid. This is the, the same bird or serpent. Um, now take a look, check this out. Out of his mouth comes a tongue, all the way down, and it's a triple forked tongue. I think our snakes are double, you know. And uh, the reason why I know that's true because I have other images that have the same thing. Um, and you know, this is possibly it's a bridge because we got more of those towered tower face things. You know, I guess you can walk on through here or walk on up to the state pterodactyl capital <laughs> you know but uh, these are just miscellaneous images up here really kind of hard to see and at first I wanted to try to bring all the images in like this but it was just very unclear you know as a matter of fact this one right here um, is the uh, cat with his paw reached out I said getting a fish well here's the fish right here um, you know but it's not very clear I have to clear another one uh, and over here another tower uh, it looks like an alien Alien lady, I'm not sure. Well, I guess they're all aliens. Okay, um, let me get out of this one here, and I'm gonna move on to a couple miscellaneous ones. This is kind of a weird picture. I thought I'd bring it in. Can't really see the eye because it's tubes in the way, I'm not, and it's got kind of a like a rounded mouth, but almost like a vampire teeth on it. And this one here is another weird image, pretty ugly if you ask me. <laughs> Looks like it's smiling though. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move on to um, fish. Okay, I had to do a uh, edge find, you know, a avatar to find, the, this is the crater as a matter of fact, and I don't mess with the crater a whole lot, but I did manage to find fish in here, so that's how I started in finding all the images I have. Just, this next one's going to be unbelievable if you guys, you know, it just blew me away, the stuff I found. <laughs> you know, one thing I found. Anyways, let me scroll on in here. Um, uh, well, we've got a dead bird right here the wings and uh, probably a shark a prehistoric shark I'm thinking right there I got another shark um, I'm gonna show you here in a little bit it's really clear and another fish but and what's really a trip is this right here it's a worm you know it's like okay there's just a hand uh, feeding this dead fish a worm you know that's pretty 
uh, comical of the aliens, you know. We've got a crater, let's make it a dry lake and put dead fish in it. <laughs> but this here, it just blows me away. It's going to blow you away too. You think I'm crazy? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, how about a merman and a mermaid? Huh? This just blows me away. I mean, you got to do the uh, before and after. Let's show you what's going on. I'm bringing it in and out. And I guess it's, uh, it's got a lion or a lamb. I think it's a lamb, a lion. And it's trying to grab the lamb. Maybe they're trying to save it from the fish or whatever else is out there because there's a lot I can't get in. But then I noticed as I got this one here in, if you look at the back fin, there's another fin right here that's huge. You know, so I'm thinking that, oh, there's, let me scroll in a little bit here. I can see two black eyes and a, like a mouth right here and it looks like a crown. So I'm thinking, okay, uh, maybe uh, mom is on top of them and this here is her fin. And this might be hit the large fin. That means in here somewhere is the baby. <laughs> you know, it's, it's kind of goes hand in hand with all these images. But now, isn't that a trip? I know we, there's legends out. There's legends. But every country has a legend of a mermaid, you know, and a merman. Um, so maybe, you know, maybe they're real. I mean, this just blows me away. <laughs> it really does. It, you know, anyways, let's go on to the next. Huh? Okay, here's a group of images. I'm going to go ahead and... Turn it, turn it off and turn it back on so you can see the color and not the color, not the color, without the color, um, to see that uh, you can see them actually without the color, you know, that's how I, how I got them in. Um, pay attention um, to this green one right here because that's going to be at the end of the video um, and that's on the back of the moon. Um, kind of running short on time here this video has been too long I'm sure, glad you guys stuck with me so I'm gonna go ahead and try to be quick about this and and you know if you guys like it maybe I can do another another one but let me just go ahead and and get right with it here okay this here it's kind of a tan color and I want I wanted to show you was oh, okay well there's the pterodactyl one there's a face uh, here's the snake one right here um, again, let me get this out of the way. Um, there's the, the triple tongue coming out. It's kind of a lousy job I did, but this is the eye, the top of the head, and the mouth is open, and the tongue is coming out. Um, and well, this is where the alligator came from, as a matter of fact. And this is the, the t other tower that was behind the alligator. You can see part of it, which is part of it there. Okay, and I'm going to scroll on out. There's quite a few images here too. Now this, you know. There's there's dead people laying everywhere, man. I you know I don't have to explain that in a minute, but it's just really terrible. There's just a lot of you know faces laying down on the ground. Well, here's a right here's a an alien gray, and then there's another face here. I mean you know check out these eyes. You know it's just it's just amazing, the eyes itself. But uh, this one here caught my eye right here. I was looking at the mountain right here. I go wow, that looks like fingers. And I went on up there and looked. I said oh my god. So I had to color it in. You know, it's got the eye, the nose, the mouth, and it's just laying there, uh, waiting to be built on, I guess. And over here, we have a lady alien. Of course, this is supposed to be space, of course, and that was that one that's sticking up in the very beginning I showed you. Now, there's so many images that I'm going to miss not showing you, you know, um, and it's going to be kind of a drag, but uh, if you like it, we'll do another one. Okay, let me move on to the next. Okay, this has got like 200 images on it, but we're just going to show, I'm going to show you just a, the ones that, that stand out. Uh, okay, here's another tower, kind of an odd one, and well, here's a, a human, which I think is human right there. Okay, and now let's uh, go on over to these three images, and they're kind of bundled up together. weird aren't they? I'll be showing you this alien here in a second too. That'll be next. And okay of course there's the gorilla. Let's move on up to I think I showed you this this king earlier where he's standing there. He's got his uh standing there. He's sitting there. He's got his arms crossed. He's kind of looking over the canyon. Uh, thinking it's king anyway. I have no idea. Okay let's move on over to this one. And that's another devil looking thing um, here this here creature eats he's just always eating the 
the dead things that are laying around, you know. I mean, let me tell you, pretty pretty gruesome. It is pretty gruesome. No wonder why they don't want to show it to us. Okay, moving on up this area here is another group right here. And let's get on to the main one over here. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I forget that one. Go on to here. And okay, let me scroll out right here. And I'm going to show you this one here. Move this one here, thing out of the way again. Okay, you know, there's a lot of images within the big, big image I'm going to show you in a second. You know, like this one, and they got a a, 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 a fish or a snake. It looks like a fish because it stops right there. Eating another fish, and looks like that the other fish is eating a duck. You know, it looks like a duck anyway. You know, <laughs> yeah, pretty odd, huh? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and scroll out and. I'll show you the big image here that that blew me away. I didn't see it until I was, you know, you know, coloring in until I stopped right here. I'm not coloring in, uh, shading in, you know, trying to get the color to come out. And look at that, a prehistoric fish. Isn't that neat? <laughs> you know, I couldn't believe it. I go, oh, whoa, because I tried to figure out where that eye came from, you know. And it's got, you know, look at the sharp teeth, you know. And you know, I looked up and researched prehistoric fish and well that's pretty much what it looks like you know and maybe this tower right here is going to be the top fin I'm not sure but uh, that's really a trip it's huge you know no telling how long that is you know um, you know 50 60 miles I have no idea but that's really neat isn't it fantastic okay let's move on okay this is the first image I worked with um, this was the bottom right hand corner of the main image. This is an alien I spoke to you, this being his eyes. He's sitting down, he's sitting down on the pedestal, which is right here in the background. And this being the man alien, the lady alien, and right here there's a baby. I know this because I've, you know, been into the thing so much to try to clear it up. It's just been, I can, it's hard, it's very hard. And then, you know, there's three little boy aliens and maybe a girl alien in the back right there that are like peering into the camera. It's odd that, that it happened that way, you know. And then there's a lady alien in the middle, and yes, they have breast. <laughs> you know, um, the reason why I know this is because of the Find Edge tool and the, you know, the avatar, as I've released this right here, you can see right there, uh, that's the edges, you know, that's the edges. And, and you can see this little thing he's holding here, which is probably an air respirator. I'm going to go ahead and zoom on in here, um, and you can see how this works. It's you know, that, and there's the edges right there. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and zoom zoom on out, and right in this area right here, um, I got all the way down to Street View, and it's really a trip. Um, so let me go ahead and do that real quick, which is right here. Now this is all the way down, and you can see that. Here, let me go ahead and put the color there on right there okay look at this you know so this, this is probably some kind of a, a creature up here in his eyes you know and all these windows and then it's got this little tower this might be the alien courthouse or something and it's got a little uh, overhang right there and then all these lights and windows all the way around you know and then of course here we go with a picture within a picture again because these images are on there and this one here also uh, let me go ahead and get rid of the color so you can see it's there and then come back and that's probably a snake um, but now we're seeing the find edge tool but we're seeing all the way in so this is interest going in you know and then on the top you know it's got some kind of a beacon and and then a couple aliens on the top I mean that's all the way down to street view you know it's really a trip that I got that far using that edge tool you know and, and working it so that was really a trip I mean this photo right here I just wish I could get in clearer but you know it is what it is right now and it, the dog I'm not sure about the dog you know I, as I do the uh, find edge avatar you know it, I couldn't you know that, that I can't be for sure but you know the rest I'm positive on you know so this is kind of a, the family photo I suppose um, but it's really a trip but on to the next okay I'm gonna go ahead and finalize this by showing you a picture of Mars um, and you can find this picture just by searching Mars and uh, photos. Uh, that's how I came across it. But if you notice up here, on this image right here, it's you know it looks like it has a set of eyes and it's got a tower. And to me, it looks 
like it shouldn't be there. You know, if you stand back and look at it, well, to me it looks like, well, it looks like what we've been looking at it, the moon, you know, the same kind of uh, features and everything else. But what really got me is I was looking at this, all these black spots in this area, you know, you know, to me it looks like a cover-up. I don't understand why it's there. If you notice, there's big black block blotches, excuse me, and then there's like a little leg off to the left on a lot of these, you know. Leg off to the left, leg off to the left, leg off to the left. You don't see it to the right. So I decided to use, take the dodge tool and uncover one of these and see what it was all about. And go ahead and lighten this up a little bit. And looks like a set of eyes, you know. I mean, all of them is going to have the same thing, you know. Right, one right beside the other. And I'll lighten up the top here a little bit. And I'll go ahead and throw the sharpness tool on it uh, to sharpen it up a little bit. My computer will catch up to me again. Okay, and you know it's got that green a green hue to it, and to me it looks like an image. You know, so you know it's very possible that uh, uh, the Mars has the same thing. You know, it's very very possible. Okay, this is the back side of the moon, of course, and I just wanted to scroll in real quick and we'll finish this video up for you. You know, if you take a good look, uh, like, let me scroll in here, you see right in here this area, and then you see a long line below it, and well, there's a tower. You know, it's right in front of our faces. This here um, is probably an alien uh, head, and you can see the tower going below it, and it has a round thing. And also with this one right here, you know, this. So, you know, it's right in front of our faces, you know, if we take a good look. And especially right here. I'm going to show that to you right now uh, as a comparison to the one of my photos. Okay, the one on this one on the left-hand side, no, forget about that one. But take a look at the one on the right. Uh, you remember seeing this statue, this tower thing uh, previously. Okay, now you take a look at the eye, the eye, eye, eye. And to the right, right here, you see another little a lighter color blotch. Well, we have the same thing. And you got the eye, eye, look up here, you got these two, and so does this. Okay, now if you look at the whole uh, image in general, you notice that from this eye over, there's a lot more. Let's call it hair or whatever, you know. And if you look over here, from this eye over, it's it's got more hair, you know, whatever you're going to call it, more, you know, more of the features. Um, so to me, in the beak, you know, this, this is identical, almost identical. You know, and so it's it's right in front of our faces. This this is, and and there are a lot of other things that are on the back of this moon um, are there, um, and we think it's just you know a coincidence. I don't think so. It's not a coincidence. It just there is no way. Then I'm going to go ahead and bring you in with this here. Now this is one of the images that NASA has put out a bunch of. Uh, images of the galaxies recently. Well, this is one of the images um, that I pulled up, and this is an image right here that is on one of the new NASA images. To me, you know, if you scroll in here, um, you see this triangular area here and this triangular area here. That looks the same. The eyes look the same, and, and this is kind of the flesh eater. This is the flesh eater on the moon, and it eats the flesh, you know. I'm going to explain that to you in a second, you know. And this is the one of the photos. This is the, one of the remakes uh, that they did, and here is this image right here. You know, take a good look at this image here. It, it, it's really strange, and and th this is uh, amazing new photos from NASA. You know, and there's just all kinds of them. You know, these are these are fakes. You know, straight up, they're fakes. They're not real. You know, and if you want to check them out, that was on BuzzFeed.com. And but you know, there is no way that um, these are real. <laughs> you know, so I'm I'm just going to go out by saying, hey, you know, it's right in front of our faces. It really is, and. Um, we need to be told about this, and it's just, it's sad that, you know, you know, I found myself, um, the images, the, the dead images that are laying around and with the flesh eaters eating flesh out of them, you know, I found myself not wanting to show all those because they're so gruesome, they're so morbid, you know, and so there's a lot of really freaky things on the moon, so, you know, maybe that's one of the reasons why NASA is covering up. Because it is morbid. It's really pretty sick in a lot of the areas. And a lot of them, are, you know, are, are funny. And then some of them are just kind of weird, you know. So you guys make up your own mind. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was long. I apologize for that. But um, you all make up your own mind. And this is all for real. You all take care.
today's announcement of, of a really fascinating result about current water on Mars is one of the reasons why I feel it's even more imperative that we send astrobiologists and planetary scientists to Mars to explore the question of is there current life on Mars. From the Curiosity rover, we now know that Mars once was a planet very much like Earth, with warm, salty seas, with freshwater lakes, probably snow-capped peaks and clouds and a water cycle, just like we're studying here on Earth with our Earth science satellites, the water cycle here on Earth. But something has happened to Mars. It lost its water. But we still have, in, in the atmosphere and on the surface, for the most part, but we still have this question of, did life arise on Mars once, and can we find out? Mars suffered a major climate change and lost its surface water. Today, we're revolutionizing our understanding of this planet. Our rovers are finding that there's a lot more humidity in the air than we ever imagined. As we ingest the soils, they're moist, they're hydrated, full of water. These discoveries are very important, but they were only part of the hydrological cycle on Mars that we're just now beginning to understand. What we're going to announce today is that Mars is not the dry, arid planet that we thought of in the past. Today we're going to announce that under certain circumstances, liquid water has been found on Mars.